I'm off to get some wood today for the Sussex chair and I'm going actually into Sussex. <laughs> the artist Ford Maddox Brown, who's an arts and crafts artist, actually first saw the Sussex chair at a East Hoffley where there's a chair maker called Henry Rich who also made trucks as well and he used quite a lot of ash and beech for the chairs. I'm going for ash simply because it's available and there's lots of it in Sussex. Other woods would be oak and beech but I, I like working with ash so that's what I'm off to do. Well, there's some nice wood here which we'll do for the Sussex chair and um, actually it's very nice straight stuff so I have been told I can take half a log which will actually be excellent for my purposes so I'm going to get splitting. Well the first wedge is in, it's a bit of a lively grain on this one as it's going a little bit down one side. Popping in now wedges down the crack and just going to follow that down. You hear the wood cracking away very faintly as it still works its way down. Okay, crack's gone the whole way down now. And actually looking at the other end, that's not bad. There's a bit of a kink down its length on one edge, but it's not bad overall. You always get little surprises when you open up a log here. We've got a little bit of a branch that's come out. So not a very nice situation there in terms of using that as a complete length of wood. Um, this side will be fine. So branch doesn't seem to affect that area. So I think I'll be all right. But um, this side will certainly have to be, some of it will have to be used as post, so rung, rung material rather than post material. I've got company. It's one of the nice things about being outside. There are, nice little pheasant. Well, perhaps not so little actually. It's picking over the pitch we were turning wood on yesterday. I expect we've turned all the ground up and it's finding lots of nice little insects and things. Right, nice supply of wood there. Just what I needed. Well, I've been draw knifing all the components now for the Sussex chair. So I took all the ribbon wood and I've been busy draw knifing away and getting a nice sort of round rough section there. Same with all the spindles. I've got a good old bag here of spindles and it's all ready for the next phase, which will be rounding. And that will be another video.